So, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to review the Google Data Analytics Certificate or the Google Data Analytics Certificate. So, basically, this career path is composed of eight courses, as you can see, starting from Foundations, Data Everywhere uh, marks the first course, and ending with a capstone. So, basically, I finished the career path today and I would like to share with you guys my review on the uh, uh, career path. And also I would like to share my course notes that I have taken throughout my progress. <clears throat> so you can use the course notes at, you, at your disposal uh, um, to, to help you and aid you in passing the course. And at the same time, uh, it can be a, a source of uh, information for you. So, um, so basically here, uh, <coughs> So as you can see here, the path can be accessed by visiting this link. And I will provide the full instructions on how to access the link, how to enroll in the uh, description box. You click on enroll and you'll be enrolled in the course. So to whom this course is intended for? The course is intended for junior data analysts or associate data analysts. By the end of this course, you will be able to um, work as a junior or associate data analyst. You won't be an expert data analyst. This will require job experience, but this course will prepare you to start working as a data analyst in, at the junior level. You will learn spreadsheet analysis, Excel anal analytics. You will earn SQL programming. You will learn, um, actually learn, not earn. You'll also learn R programming. So as you can see here, there's a full course on Data analysis with R programming. Okay, so the first course, second course, and the third course are all about concepts. You will learn concepts about data analytics. So basically, I have summarized the course notes here, and um, the course notes are available for download. Uh, let me show you guys how to download the course links or the course notes. So basically, I'm going to put the link here of this page, my blog. You will access the link and you will download the course notes for the R programming course, Excel analytics course, visualizations course, and secret programming. For an example course note, if you click on R programming, it's a PDF uh, link or PDF. Uh, uh, actually, I think this link is uh, corrupted. Let me go back. Okay, I'm going to fix this. Excel analytics. So, for example, this is uh, these are the notes I have taken for uh the excel analytics course you will see my notes and you'll see the code snippets okay so <clears throat> where am i all right okay so let's go uh back to the notes so here are the concepts you will find them in the in the in the, uh, in the download link here are the concepts you'll learn the process six steps process in that analysis how to analyze the data um terms about ecosystem, data science, data strategy, cap analysis. And also you will be able to access um, my notes on SQL and how to use SQL for analyzing data. Basically, you will see course snippets, uh, link snip code snippets, and the explanation for the snippets and how to apply them, as well as <clears throat> the R programming notes. You can use these notes with example codes to uh, learn how to analyze data with R. Okay, let's get back. How to pass the course, how to earn your certificate. Let's take a look at the first one. So at every course, in order to pass it, there are a couple of requirements. For example, in the first course, foundations that everywhere, you only have to pass the challenge quizzes. But later down of the road, for example, prepare for data exploration, in here, you will have to do some hands-on activities in order to pass the course. So here are, as you can see, um, the quizzes, but I recommend you guys to take a look at the hands-on activities, for example. Uh, let's see here, there's hands-on activities on this course. Yeah, for example, it's hands-on introduction to Kaggle. Uh, week three, for example. There are other hands-on activities such as, you see, clean data in spreadsheets with sorting and filtering. If you access that, you will see a guide 
on how to perform this lab, uh, the data set available, and here instructions on how to perform the lab, step by step, step by step. Okay, let's see now <coughs> more advanced courses. Say here, analyze data to answer the questions. So in this course, again, in order to pass the course, take a look at the grades, and here you will see what is needed to pass the course. <coughs> again, let's take a look at the week one, for example. In week one, we see, as you can see, there are hands-on activities at the end of every uh, week. This one, for example, hands-on activity, SQL sorting queries. How do you SQL to sort, uh, how do you um, SQL sorting queries, actually, to sort data and analyze it? Actually, these labs are not mandatory, but I recommend you strongly to take them. If you want to pass the course, gain a certificate and be worth a certificate, okay, not just holding the cert. There is no there is no point in gaining the certificate without the knowledge. So in order to um, be fully equipped with everything to start a job as a data analyst, you will have to do the hands-on activities, although they are not required to pass the course. And finally, you see here the capstone project. The capstone project, uh, contrary to the common sense, there is no there is nothing required to uh, there is nothing to complete here. Okay, there is no project to complete in this course. No mandatory project. It's just a question asking you, did you complete the uh, case study or not? And of co of course, you can just. Uh, click on yes and finish the last course but of course in order to uh, take the full advantage of the knowledge laid down by google you'll have to go through the case study construction so basically here it will teach you how to build your own portfolio using github or kaggle and in week two you will see or you will be able to select one of two case studies and then start to analyze the information, prepare your own analysis, and share the uh, case study in your portfolio. So it's vastly important to have a portfolio as that analyst. And this course, although it's not mandatory to create the case study, it prepares you uh, with a sample case study that you will be able to create, analyze the data from, <coughs> and build an online portfolio, which you can use <coughs> to start uh, hunting for a job. So do I recommend this course? I strongly recommend this course if you want to start your career as a data analyst. Hands-on hands -on experience, practical skills, and concepts as well. Now let's go up. There is another course which is IBM Data Analyst. I will also review this course and provide the course notes once I finish the last two courses on it. Okay, I hope you find the review helpful and see you in another certificate review video, hopefully.